hey what's up guys Naresh here and welcome to you another video tutorial which is for Amazon Fire TV stick and today I'm gonna show you how you can install and set up your Kodi latest version onto your Amazon Fire TV stick well a basic thing I would like to mention before the tutorial is start that with the same method you can install any third-party application onto your Fire TV stick without any problem so so let's start the tutorial by first going down to the settings okay into the setting want to go down to the system into the system you can go down to about the reason I'm going in about just to making sure that what version of software we are using on our Amazon Fire TV stick guys which is Fire OS 5.0.5.1 latest version so once the version is checked get out of that one completely straight away scroll down to the developer option open that one up and make sure that apps from unknown sources is selected on so turn it on obviously it's going to show you the warning like that just believe me press ok on it okay once this is done get out of this completely now all right when when you're on your home screen you need to come up here and search for the application which we are going to install from Amazon App Store so let's search for the application which is called and you need to find for ES file explorer just select it obviously you can see that the first application which is the ES file explorer and that's what we would like to download onto our Amazon Fire TV stick you just simply select it all right and hit the download button once it's downloaded and installed on your Fire TV stick we're going to open it there we go it's installed let's open up from here once it's open obviously this is how it's going to appear up here now first thing first I would like you to go down to the favorite option right there up here so open the favorite option okay once it's open just scroll down to the add and press ok again and now you need to enter add the bookmark for the Kodi download address so enter the path here for the address first which is Once you give it a name, just need to press next now. Now you need to give it a name as, as a bookmark. So we're going to write the code D. Alright. Once you do that, again press the play and next button. There you go. Once it's done, simply go to the add and press OK. Okay, once the bookmark is added, which will, which will be available down in the bottom right there. There we go. As you can see that code D right there. Open the code D. There you go. Once the code is open, you need to come down this side actually. Come come down to the right hand side where you would be able to find the cursor actually. There you go. As you can see that the cursor is uh, appeared on about yellow one. That's what you need actually. You want that cursor to come down to Android APK install where you can see it now and just simply press OK what I have noticed actually there's a bug inside the ES file explorer sometime it just plays up so when you press it it don't download it guys do not need to worry about that feature okay what you need to do I'm gonna show you in this so let's suppose this arm is selected at this moment of time okay if I press it if it didn't start the download I don't need to worry about it alright I can click it double time again if you don't start it still now no need to worry whatsoever simply until it is selected you want you to go down to the left hand side then come down completely okay now you see we are on exit so now I want you to go down towards the more option open the more option I want you select this open in browser simply select the open in browser there we go straight away started downloading without any trouble guys no no youtuber is telling you this actually I think they are unable to find a solution for that actually I just figure it out once it's downloaded okay what you need to do you can open it right there and then that's how we're gonna install it alright open that one go straight away install and again install simple as that now we are installing Kodi 16.0 Jarvis on our Amazon Fire TV stick and what you would notice that guys that you do not need a fire starter being honest with you because the Kodi would appear on your home screen as well as long as you are logged into an, your Amazon account it's launched just press the done button and you can go back to the home screen now 
okay now we're going to launch the Kodi actually so by scrolling down towards the settings and straight away down to the application scroll down to the bottom where it says manage and install application open that one all right let's scroll down where you able to see the Kodi which is just right here let's open up and launch the application there we go guys Kodi 16.0 Jarvis is up and running on your Fire TV stick let's go down to the system and down to the file system info let's check that one all as you can see that you can you can see it completely is there all everything hanky dory working now what you need to do after that actually guys it's up to you wanted to in install the individual add-ons or you wanted to install the build to install any build I would rather suggest to go for uh, go to Aries wizard to do that so or if you don't want it to go to Aries wizard you can install the basic which is uh, hub wizard guys that would work as well so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how you can add the Aries wizard actually that is more interesting which will bring you more open ideas actually so let's go to system and down to the file manager while into the file manager scroll down to the bottom where it says add source open the add source open the none as well enter the URL which I'm going to give you now which is h t t p colon double slash Aries wizard dot s r v e dot i o slash a w underscore zip okay now what you need to do you need to simply done press done and scroll down to the bottom and press ok as you can see name is got it automatically because of the subfolder press ok once it's added get out of that one to the home screen so now let's go down to the system and down to the setting into the settings scroll down to the bottom where it says add-ons open the add-ons and select install from the zip file right select the source which we entered which was for aw underscore zip open that one up select script dot aries wizard latest version anyways so once you selected it what will happen it will install the aries wizard onto your Kodi. there you go once the notification arrived you simply just go back to the program add-ons get out of that one completely go down to the program open the program go to the program add-ons you would be able to find the Aries wizard just around there okay let's open up first time if you're opening it first time it might take from uh, 10 to 20 seconds once the Aries wizard is open now what you can do is up to your own choice uh, that uh, what would you like to have actually on your Kodi you know when you're setting it up on your fire TV stick so I would rather recommend you guys to go with the bills actually so you do not need to install every add-ons individually or what you can do if you if you don't like the bills you can just go into the browse add-on section right here and go to the video add-ons and here you can select all best add-ons available on the Kodi guys any best add-on you would like to have it on your Kodi you can select it from here and that is the easy way to do that do this do the setup of the Kodi on your fire TV, TV stick as well so if you do not want it what you can do you can just go straight down to the browse builds actually so the there you have all the best builds available on the Kodi platform today's date actually so when you're inside the build scroll select the all builds and after that you can go into the pulse pulse is the one of the best builds developer I have seen guys because it provides you all the necessary video add-ons all the necessary things you need for your Kodi all right but they do have also pulse light version which is going to work great on our fire tv stick just simply select it and hit the install button off it go the size of this build is only 209 megabytes so once it get downloaded and extracted it will be ready to rumble there we go once the download and extraction is completed it will be asking you to do the backup of your skin or the profile I'm not really much of the bother guys because we know that it's a brand new setup for us so we're just going to simply press no on to it all right and obviously the whole setup is done now you need to press ok to attempt the close of the Kodi okay 
So the, obviously it's going to show you that what you need to do actually on the Kodi. Now you need to press the home button. Then scroll down to the bottom into the settings. Open the settings. In the settings scroll down to the applications. In the application scroll down towards the managed, manage and installed applications. Open that one up. Scroll down and you will be able to find the Kodi. Open that one up. Now what you need to do, you need to do the force stop guys. Press the force stop and just launch it up again. There we go guys. The Pulse build is up and running on your Kodi as well and your Kodi is fully configured onto your Amazon Fire TV stick guys. So simple tutorial, so simple and straightforward instructions guys. I do not think so that anybody can have a, any trouble with this sort of a method. As you can see the Pulse build which we installed on our Kodi, it seems to have every single bit of it, you know, program add-ons are there, system, Phoenix is there, movie sections is there, TV shows, sports, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. kickoff is also there and the kit section and live stream sections are there. It's a fully complete configured system guys. Now you can have this all on your Amazon Fire TV stick straightforward. Now what I'm going to show you actually what else you're going to see actually. So let's go ahead. Let's close this one. Okay. Press exit. Well, we have the latest version of Amazon Fire TV stick guys. Now you can see the Kodi on your home screen. Which was, a, which was a pain in the backside some time ago, but now it's there. And there's another feature, which is the home button, single click, which we know that it works. The double click is also there, which will show you your apps library. So you can have all different, different app add-ons or apps you would like to have side loaded ones straight in this area here. And you can launch them easily rather than going into the and uh, settings and manage and install application so that's about it guys thank you very much for watching this video and i'm sure i'll explain to you in detail as well that how you can all have this all nicely onto your Kodi, guys okay then so i shall see you in next video tutorial soon with something new about the fire tv stick guys thank you and i shall see you again